You might have heard of this thing called AI recently, and you might have even tried it for yourself. Today, I wanna to give you a detailed breakdown into how I create images like these with AI completely for free. In the early days of Gen AI, I dabbled with AI image generators like Dali and Midjourney, and I came across Viscom, which was completely free. And it essentially allows you to take a sketch and transform it into a realistic render. I've been using Viscom for about eight months now. It's become an essential part of my workflow. And I don't have to spend hours in Photoshop or using a 3D CAD software to create a realistic render anymore because I can just do it in a couple of seconds in Viscom. I'm very happy to say that this video is sponsored by Viscom. Thank you to the team. And you can check it out at viscom.ai or through the link in my description. So to create your render, you're going to want to start with a sketch. I basically do this in my sketchbook or on a post-it note or on a piece of paper or however, it's completely up to you. So let's do one now. I'm thinking of a Nike lifestyle running kind of shoe. I think that would be a good example. So let's, let's run with that. Okay, so starting the sketch now, the camera focus is going crazy. I'm trying to pick up those lines, but I just draw in a super light outline. I'm trying to keep the design super minimal. Dropping a Nike swoosh, adding some rubber at the bottom of the shoe. And now I come in a bit darker with the barrel just so Viscom can pick it up super clear. Adding some rubber details going all around the shoe, the full outline, dropping a swoosh and it's done. We're in the notes app now. I click scan document, turn it from auto to manual. I will take a picture of my sketch I will adjust the corners so that the framing is right and in the bottom right hand corner I will click keep scan. When that's done I'll click save and then in that drop down arrow next to scan documents I'll click on the three dots on the image and click copy. I'll then paste it down below and then click on that image that I've pasted and in the bottom left I'll open up that menu and click save image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drop in my sketch. It's already a smart object. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and levels. And what that does is it basically brings more contrast in. So I can bring that up like so. And when I start moving this left, it gets rid of that background texture that you can see. Looking good, hit okay. And then I'll go to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and I'll adjust Turn that saturation completely off and then what i'll do is i will do command j duplicate that hide the old one then my shortcut for this is just to press e like erase and click and it rasterizes it for me and what i'll do is i'll go in with this lasso selection tool thing and i will chop out all of the areas that i don't want so all of these extra lines that you can see around the edge right so the sketch is cleaned up what we could do now is screenshot that or save it whatever you want and then drop it into Viscom, which I will do now. So if I type in Viscom into Google, this is what you see. This is their homepage. And if you go over to pricing, you can see that the starter pack over here, completely free, you get unlimited files, unlimited exports, unlimited file viewers. That's what I was using for a while. Fortunately for me, I actually won a design competition that Viscom held and the prize for that was a free professional license uh, forever, a lifetime license. So my version is a little bit different, but everything I'm gonna show you today is essentially what you could get from the starter pack. All you need to do is sign up with your email and you have full access. And when you open up Viscom, it will look something like this. What you're gonna want to do is go over here to new file and this is your uh, Viscom dashboard, basically. You can choose whatever canvas size you want or you can upload an image directly here. What I normally do is I stick with landscape. So I'm gonna stick with landscape and press create. Here we go, I've got my page, I can draw stuff, da 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 da. If you have a Wacom tablet, you can sketch directly into the software. So over here you have your layers panel. If you're familiar with Photoshop, it's quite similar in terms of uh, structure. So you should be familiar with that. At the top we have our toolbar, which has our insert function, our move function, paintbrush, eraser, color picker, shapes, uh, in painting tool, which is kind of like a lasso tool in Photoshop. Then there's a new tool, which is generate 3D, which is insane. 
undo, redo, and then you can close this studio and enter another one. And then over here on the right hand side, you have your create panel, which is where you'll put your prompts in. You can choose your style, you can add a reference image if you want. You can adjust your drawing influence, which is essentially how close the outcome is to your initial sketch. So 100% would be exactly like your sketch. 0% would be nothing like your sketch. And then you can select the number of images you want to create and then generate your outcome there. So when you start, you can either insert a file up here or you can drag and drop. I'm just going to drag and drop because it's easier for me. So what I actually do is I will go over to my Photoshop file. I will just take a screenshot because it seems to work well for me. Go back into Viscom and drag it in quick and easy. And then I'll enter a prompt. I have a prompt that I use all the time and I just change a few keywords and it seems to work really well for me. And it says a side view of a hyper realistic whatever concept in a whatever colorway inspired by whatever rendered in 4k on a white background so where i've got these sections in here i basically change that copy i'm going to call it nike running sneaker concept in a, in a light blue colorway inspired by aerodynamic cars smooth sculpted surfaces and also what I like to do here is talk a little bit about what I want from the actual shoe so I might want like a mesh upper knitted upper foam sole rubber sole whatever it is so I will say laceless knitted upper foam sole there we go and then that's pretty much it really what you can do here is select your render style. So there's Viscom General, Automotive Exterior, Automotive Interior, Volume Render, Pastel Render, Technicolor 6 and Cybercell. I'm not going to use a reference image just yet. And Drawing Influence. I normally keep this to about between 75 and 90%. So I'll put it at 85 and we can see. If you have the free version, you can only generate one image at a time. I'll just click on my four and then hit generate. So it takes about 10-ish seconds, maybe less than that. Okay, so we've got one here. Interesting. Okay, a little bit dark. This one is quite nice. This one again, a little bit dark. Okay, this one I'm liking. What you can do here is hide the render and see how it compares to your original sketch. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I like what the swoosh is done here, like double swoosh kind of thing. That's actually really sick. And what you can do here is you can add this as a layer and it will appear in the layers panel on the left. So I like this one, I'm gonna add it as a layer. What I'm gonna do is just cycle through a bunch of these and pick up the key ones that I really like. We've got this one here, this one with quite a large swoosh, this one which is actually super clean, this one with like a metallic swoosh and still following that really nice design language, this one here and the original sketch. And what you can do now is you can export these, so you can export them as an image, an image which is two times its size, a video to show you the entire process that you went through, a Photoshop file, or a 3D model file as well, which is pretty cool. Or what you can do is select the layer, click these three dots and click export. Okay, so there you go. That's how you create images for free with AI. Viscom has been a great asset in my workflow and I'm sure you'll find it super helpful in yours too. Doesn't matter who you are, you could be a design student, you could be an artist, it could be anyone really. If you have an idea and you can sketch it out, even roughly, just give Viscom a go and see how it turns out. Don't forget to check them out at viscom.ai or through the link in the description. And I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or drop me a DM on Instagram. I try to reply to everyone as quickly as I can. And as always, thank you for watching. Welcome to the studio and I'll see you around.